So the Institute of Export and International Trade is establishing special interest groups, partly uh, as a result of conversations we've been having with, with our members and uh, also to reflect the increasingly um, challenging uh, and changing environment for international trade. So the special interest groups will give us a great depth of knowledge and expertise in specific areas and the one that we're launching currently where we are looking at export controls is really important and is important for a number of reasons that were brought into sharp focus uh, when the war in uh, Ukraine started and the sanctions were issued on Russia and there was an immediate need for businesses to understand what the government's approach to those sanctions was going to be. Uh, and the Department for International Trade came to the Institute to ask us to reach out into the community of businesses to explain to them the impact of those sanctions. Uh, and as a result of that activity and the great work and leadership shown by Roger Arthi uh, with regards to uh, export controls, we are now setting up a formal special interest group uh, to enhance our activity around those export controls. Well, there will be a range of additional services that they will get with specific focus on the areas uh, that relate to export controls in this instance. But over the coming uh, year or so, we will be introducing a range of other areas of uh, special interest. Uh, food uh, and safety and security will be one. Uh, and as I say, each group will have a tailored range of services and inputs relevant to the needs. During the SIG meetings, there'll be a lot of opportunities for networking as well as engaging with industry experts who will bring in to talk about items of particular interest to export control people. There'll also be, uh, during the course of the year, uh, three webinars of particular interest to export control people to help them with their compliance and their internal compliance programs. Every year we're planning to have at least one physical uh, meeting which will give people an opportunity not just to hear of uh, industry experts but also to, to engage with them personally and also to network with each other. Well, When the Institute of Export and International Trade set up the export control profession um, it established a number of services particularly for people doing export control we've got a very, very well used and helpful helpline for members to use to help them comply with export control. And we've also developed training. We provide a lot of training at the moment, but we're now developing a qualification in export control. What the SIG will allow members to do is to comment on those, to say whether they're doing what they need and to identify areas where they could need uh, improved services to help them with their compliance journey. Export controls are really important and it's really quite easy occasionally to inadvertently breach what are uh, the controls set in place. Um, and so making sure that UK businesses are able to trade safely, securely and compliantly is very hard to what the Institute of Export and International Trade stands for and therefore focusing first on the special interests for export controls is a sensible step. The last year or so has taught us an awful lot about export control and the importance of it. Um, as Marco mentioned, as soon as uh, Russia uh, invaded Ukraine, countries like the UK, US and Europe um, all raised sanctions against Russia and export controls and there was a great need for companies and exporting organisations to be aware of those sanctions to understand them so that they could then ensure they complied with them and, and met the criteria that are required for exports uh, around Europe, um, around the world.